Okay, this is one of them here that's going to be a little bit different than anything you ever ate. What I ended up doing was I cut up my catfish. Fish was a little moist, so I just put cornstarch on it. And I pan fried that in coconut oil. And what we got here is red and yellow and orange bell pepper and one jalapeno and some onion. And I add a little bit of chicken broth to that. You want those peppers soft because the way that we ate it was with some steamed vegetables and rice. This is chipotle that I ground up. Put that in there. So you can tell this is going to be a spicy dish, but it ain't for wimps to eat. So man up and enjoy it. A little spice of life. It'll drive the evil spirits out of your body. And we're going to put a little bit of Cajun seasoning in there. Next thing we're going to put, this is that nacho cheese. It sounds crazy, but it's made a really nice cheesy sauce. You see how that all come together? Now I'm going to give you a hint on frying fish. You see how white this is? That's because there's no seasoning on it. If you season your fish before you put it in a fryer, you're going to melt all the salt off of it. Then whatever pepper you put on it, guess what? That pepper is going to cook at 350 or 375 degrees and all the oil is going to come out of them. So you want to season your fish or anything that you're frying after you get through cooking it. Then that way the heat of the fish when you pull it out of there it's gonna release the oils in that seasoning. And when you cook that fish with that just that cornstarch on it it stays really crunchy because if you were to put raw fish in here in just a little while it'd be falling all apart so here's what it looks like in the bowl now I recommend you eat rice with it I almost left something out this is something my wife and I discovered ain't nobody told us nothing about it you add a little bit of peanuts in there. That little crunch from that peanut, that gives it, that's some texture right there. Okay. Now remember, this is hot. Go and eat that with some rice and some steamed vegetables, that cauliflower and carrots and all that, it tastes really good together. Alright, I hope you enjoy this. It's a little bit of exotica for you, but that's what life's all about. We'll come up with something even more interesting next time we talk. Buddy T signing off.